Meantime, scientists have taken to the skies as part of the most comprehensive ever assessment of Britain's air pollution. Between 40 and 50,000 people a year die as a result of air pollution around the UK. Joining us from Westminster is the Labour MP, Garrett Davis, who's a member of the Environmental Audit Committee. Hello to you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here on Sky News this afternoon. What more needs to be done to try to sort out this air pollution? Well, as you said, uh, something like 40,000 people are dying a year from lung cancer, heart disease, strokes and the like. We need to restrict the number of uh, high-polluting diesel vehicles that go into urban centres. We need to look at, again at the price, the relative price of uh, diesel versus petrol and in particular versus electric. We need infrastructure of uh, electric supplies so that we can stimulate people to travel with electric cars, electric trams, etc. Because it simply isn't good enough that more and more people are dying. What would be the single most effective way to reduce emissions though, do you think? Well we could give, um, we could give local councils the power to restrict highly re uh, emitting diesel vehicles into city centres and laser technology to actually track that and charge people for coming in if we did it on a basis of a, of a, of a congestion type charge. But really the, we're looking to the government as well to change the incentives to buy and run diesel cars in the next budget as well as to giving people incentives perhaps for sca scrappage schemes so that they can switch uh, to a more sustainable transport type. Mm. And when you think about emissions, you think, I suppose, about the busiest city, which um, is reasonable to assume would be London. But we have seen uh, from our own research that Liverpool, Manchester, Birmingham, uh, Newcastle, Leeds are all areas that we really do need to concentrate on to try and to get those emissions down, not least with air pollution uh, in the form of aircraft. Yeah, I mean, obviously we need sustainable systems, trams and the like, so people can get around in a sustainable way. In terms of aircraft, obviously we, it's just been a green light to increase the capacity of Heathrow from 480,000 to 700,000 aircraft a year. And we need to think very carefully about what the impact is that of that over our heads and indeed on our road surfaces. Some calculations have been done, but I don't think they're persuasive. And I worry that DEFRA ministers and Brexit ministers haven't committed to keep to the EU air quality standards. And once we leave, then uh, we'll be abandoning them uh, because we can't cope. We need to take action now to save current people and future generations because basically pregnant women and fetuses are suffering as we speak in London from air pollution that's in breach of the law. Garrett Davis, good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.